So this video will just show you how you can use this spreadsheet um, to create uh, multiple Google Sites for students in your class from a template. So either you can uh, just paste in their email addresses and their names, but if you don't have that to hand, if you go to the add-ons menu and Google Sites Duplicator, the first step is to get the student data. So I can select my class over here. So I'm gonna choose year four, which is like a demo class. Um, and it will add in a new sheet and it will pull in the students' names and their email addresses. Um, and then the next step is to get the, uh, the actual template of the Google site that I want to, to copy. So here is a simple Google site template I've made, but you can add images and videos and pages and whatever else you want. Um, and you need to get this URL at the top, the whole of the URL, paste that into the, the cell here. Um, and then you need to get the URL of the destination folder. So I've just created a folder, an empty folder in my My Drive. I'm going to copy that URL and put that in the top up here. Uh, and then I go to the add-ons menu and Google Sites Duplicator and create sites. And now in the background, what's happening is it's taking this Google site and it's making a copy for this student and it's adding them as an editor. Uh, and it takes a little, it takes a few seconds for each one, but so far it's done one out of five, two out of five. Um, and that will carry on in the background. And as you can see, it's creating those in that um, folder that I specified. So if I go into this one as an example, Amy Brown, here's her site. It's called Site for Amy Brown. And if I go to the sharing settings, you'll see that I am the owner of it. So um, I have control over the site. She's an editor. Um, and by default, this box will be unchecked, so they can't publish it. So teacher has control. You can tick that, and then they're allowed to publish it if you'd like, but by default, it's more secure. And then when they're all done, it will paste the links back into the spreadsheet so you have access to them if you need them, and then the students can, can get to their work. If they go to Shared With Me, it should be in there. Otherwise, you can share this link with them somehow, um, or they can search, you know, site for, because they're all called site for then.